Welcome to BribeyGirl.com. Today we're talking about the spectacular wildlife on Bribey Island. So here are my favourite experiences up close and personal. Number one, kangaroos are everywhere. If you don't spot a kangaroo when you're visiting Bribey, you really aren't trying hard enough. I have stumbled across kangaroos just walking out my front door, playing in the water on the beach, lazing on the side of the road, even watching the kids train at the sports ovals. But my best tip to spot kangaroos by the dozen is to simply four-wheel drive up to the camping grounds in the National Park or duck across to Turbul where you'll find kangaroos lazing in people's front yards. If you don't own a four-wheel drive, I would recommend you try out the G'day Adventure four-wheel drive day tours to experience the beauty and wildlife of Bribey Island firsthand. Number two, dolphins at every beach. Be it Banksia Beach, Red Beach, Warren Beach, Silver Beach, or even Bongaree Jetty, you'll find dolphins. Spot them playing in the waves along the ocean beach at Warren, or see them up close as you paddle in your kayak through the Pumice Stone Passage. Year round, you'll find both Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphin and Australian humpback dolphins along the coast of Bribey Island. If you've arrived for the day and are a little unprepared, don't worry, you can always hire a paddleboard from Bribey Island Hire Hut and Tours or try out the morning tea on the Ferryman Cruise. Number three, Neil the Seal warms our heart. You really never know what you're going to get when you come to Bribey, and this rare find was a real treat. A young New Zealand fur seal rapidly became a popular member on Bribey Island after appearing at a beach in the middle of winter. With long white whiskers, dark tan ears, dark grey brown dorsal fur, a pale muzzle, a pointed snout and a thick mane of long guard hairs who couldn't fall in love with this cutie. Dubbed Neil the Seal, he spent plenty of time sunbaking and enjoying the surf around the island's beaches. And to be honest, I don't blame him. Number four, emus casually roam the streets. Standing up to 1.5 metres tall with shaggy grey brown to black plumage, bare skin around their face and a striking blue black coloured neck. They are quite a formidable sight. Our emus are quite unusual sounding too. They don't tweet, they grunt. They don't fly, they walk and they can actually run up to 50 kilometres per hour. Now, although they are normally silent, they are known to make deep, booming, guttural noises during breeding season. And, you know, legend has it that they could be heard up to two kilometres away. Our emus also love to swim, flopping into the water and soaking their feathers. They will also venture into more developed areas during long dry spells, which is when we often find them venturing out of the National Park and wandering the streets of Banksia Beach. This was in loving memory of Eric the Emu. Eric the Emu was our legendary icon of Bribey Island. With his own Facebook and Instagram pages and also making a television appearance on Channel 7 News, he was the epitome of island life. Sadly, Eric passed away in 2015, but his legacy lives on. These are some of my experiences with the spectacular wildlife on Bribey Island. What experiences have you had? Please add them to the comments section below or follow us on Facebook and YouTube for more adventures.